In this video, I will review for you the Milwaukee M18 cordless drain snake. I bought this Milwaukee drain snake a few months ago to help clear block sewer, grey and stormwater pipes on my property. Some years ago, when the toilet and the grey water pipes were blocked on several occasions, I had to pay a professional plumber several hundred dollars to clear the block. I figured I might as well attempt to clear less severe blocks myself and if I cannot clear the block then I go to the next stage and engage a professional plumber with the uh, longer bigger drain snake and root cutting head and high pressure jet. Join me in this review as I walk you through the features of this drain snake. Let's start the review. So this is the Milwaukee M18 FDC PF8 cordless drain snake. It weighs 6.6 .6 kg without any battery attached. So that is pretty heavy and that's why when you use it, you should sit it on a flat base. That's what the feet are designed for. In Australia, the drain snake is supplied with a 9.5 millimeter diameter, 10 meter long stainless steel cable. The cable only has a coil head. The cable does not have a attachable head. So you cannot replace it with say root cutters. That is a bit unfortunate because I would have liked to be able to replace this coil head with a root cutting head. In the US, you have the 6mm diameter by 15m long cable and the 8mm diameter by 15m long cable. I would have preferred to have the 8mm diameter by 15m cable. This is the front hand grip and it's also the twist lock. If I tilt this this way, you may be able to see that there's a symbol on the rubber embossed. It shows a padlock lock sign and this one shows backward arrows and forward arrows. That is the trigger. So you would squeeze that and depending on how much you squeeze, it controls the power and revolution of the cable. This is the push nut. When it's pushed in on the right hand side, the cable will move forward. When it's pushed in on the left hand side, which means this is protruding, the cable will retract inward so the cable will then go in. For the drain snake, I do recommend that you probably are looking at using a 6M hour or 12M hour battery because it does consume a lot of power. So that's where the battery goes. I'll just turn it around so you can have a look. Now that I've got the battery attached, I'll push the direction knob so that the right hand side is pushed in. That means I want the cable to extend outwards and I can unlock. By turning it anti-clockwise from this direction, it will move in or out. When I move it in and then I turn it clockwise again to lock, it's in the padlock position. When I squeeze the power trigger, you'll notice the cable will spin clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on how the direction control is set. Now I'll squeeze the trigger. And you notice all it's doing is spinning clockwise and not extending out or retracting because I have it locked. The lock position is useful where I've extended the cable to a particular section of the pipe and I just want to spin it to clean that particular section of the pipe. That's what the lock feature is for. And let's say I'm now happy with the cleaning at that particular section of the pipe. I want to extend it out. Then I turn this anti-clockwise, push it outwards, turn it clockwise again. And when I squeeze the power trigger, you'll see this will protrude outwards. I would also like to mention that when the power trigger is squeezed, the steel cable extends at a maximum speed of 203 millimeters per second at a revolution of 600 RPM. When the power trigger is squeezed, you'll notice there's also a white LED light to shine broadly at the front area. So let's say that I've now got it at the section of the pipe and I want to clean that section of the pipe. I will turn this anti-clockwise, push this back Turn it clockwise to lock it, squeeze the trigger. 
and it will spin and clean that section so now imagine if that section of the pipe has stuff that's clogged up in there and the spiral hook turning clockwise will catch in the material and when I'm satisfied and want to retract it I will turn this anti-clockwise push it forward turn it clockwise to lock it again push the knob to change the direction to reverse and squeeze the power trigger and you'll see the cable is retracting that will pull whatever the head of the cable has caught on and retract it backwards it's a very simple drain snake it's only 9.5 millimeters so you can't do big bore sewer pipe or big bore storm pipe but for the purposes of a stage one troubleshooting it is useful and if this can't solve it it's either because the head is too small or it needs a root cutting head or it needs a much longer cable and in this regard the professional drain cleaning equipment they have cables which can be joined end to end and extend out to 40 50 60 or more meters and they also have large diameters with detachable heads where you can swap out the head and put in three root cutting heads in addition to drain snake cables the professionals can also use high pressure water jets to cut tree roots and push rocks and debris away from the problem area so this cuts off everything but it is a useful stage one tool for the home user for instance to solve simple blockages at home when you at the work site after you finish your job you may have a chance to use a water jet to clean the extended steel cable if you don't have that opportunity unfortunately you have to retract the steel cable back into the drum that does mean that the drum will contain grime dirt waste material in there so that means that once you get back to the home office this needs to be maintained how do you do this extend the steel cable out completely jet it with water and if you have a brush brush the cable along the entire length to clean it as thoroughly as you can with it extended let it dry completely whilst it's drying remove this external drum there are four phillips head screws one two three and four loosen the four screws and this black external drum cover just comes off and what you'll see inside is an internal drum with a hole that hole is where the steel cable goes in and it coils itself inside the internal drum so with the external drum removed and the steel cable removed you have access to the internal drum use a rack and clean the inside of the drum make sure it's clean and dry once you're finished before you mount this back in you have to feed the steel cable back into the drum take note of the direction arrows in which to feed the steel cable into the internal drum follow that direction and feed the tail end of the snake cable into the drum you do not have to feed the entire length of the cable manually into the drum just a few turns enough for it to catch then you can reinstall this black cover and put the snake into reverse turn the power and retract the steel cable under power that's all you have to do it is necessary to clean the snake cable and the internal drum after every job otherwise you'll either get rust or just imagine waste material from the sewer system stored inside the internal drum i hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting and useful do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more and to help the channel grow thank you so much